We're at Machu Picchu, and it is the 15th of June. And there's no better representation of pre-flood Cyclopean architecture against the Incan architecture of Machu Picchu. Now, this is one of the wonders of the world. But the official party line differs so vastly from what, uh, what we have found through our research throughout the world. And one of the most amazing things, Tim, is that, as you know, just arguing with the uh, official narrative, they always want to downplay the relevance of the giants. That's right, and here in Machu Picchu we have a the clear distinction, as Steve said, between the Cyclopean foundations, the megalithic Cyclopean foundations, and then what the Inca built on top. And the reason why the Inca built on top of the Cyclopean foundations is because they styled themselves as the children of the sun. They were the sons of the gods. Their progenitors, the gods, built here on this mountain. And so when the Inca discovered it, just like at Sacsayhuaman, uh, they decided to rebuild on the foundations of their divine progenitors. And the official narrative here in Machu Picchu declares that these, the walls here were built, we have Cyclopean and we have the, an advanced Incan style, but it's not Cyclopean, that what we find is Cyclopean being used for temples and the, the simpler style being used for other buildings. But the problem is that here at, at Machu Picchu, there's a clear mixture of both styles. So for us, it's evident that the Inca arrived to this place they discover the foundations of their divine progenitors, in their minds, their divine progenitors, in our minds, races, pre-flood races, and they began to build on top of them. The next update should be at Ojante Tambo. That should be in a couple days. This is Timothy Alberino, Steve Quayle, signing off from Machu Picchu.